Volunteers at the Fraser Coast Wildlife Sanctuary have officially taken over the running of the nature park. The Fraser Coast Training and Support Service, which had run the sanctuary, says it was just proving too much for it. The not-for-profit training and support service started the sanctuary eight years ago. Now though, with the demands on it to train and find jobs for disadvantaged young people, it doesn't have the time to devote to the park. So the sanctuary's small army of volunteers have formally taken over the lease and the day-to-day -day running of it. It's going to keep it within the community where if we didn't go ahead with this sort of thing, it was just going to fold up and, and disappear. The volunteers will be led by long-time sanctuary creator Ray Revel. It will mean more than 10 the nature park and keeping the animals fed, they'll also be responsible for finding the money to keep it going. We'll keep it affordable for the community and for the region and we'll keep doing what we've always done all along. We'll care for the wildlife, we'll look after the sick and injured. The nature park is home to a wide variety of native animals and birds. It's also home to the first legally bred dingoes in captivity. Already the new board is looking at expanding to introduce more animals including koalas, cassowaries, wombats, even crocodiles. We've been to many um, nature parks up in Queensland uh, over the years taking the kids there but I'd say without a doubt this has a prospect of being an absolutely wonderful area. Karen Broadhurst, Wind News.